Hi guys, welcome back to Shelby on Safari. I hope you're well. Today we are gonna be going over five things that you need to know about Goriles. And this episode is dedicated to my friend Lucy who loves crocodilians. And so I thought, why not focus on this unique species you may not have heard of? But first, before we do, if you're new here and you wanna learn all about animals in the wild or in pop culture, be sure to hit that subscribe button and make that bell go ding so you can be the first to see all the new content headed your way in this new year. Now, let's get started. The Gharial is one cruel crocodilian. Although they are in a league of their own, well, genus to be precise. Their closest living relative is the false Gharial, which is not saying much because they last shared a common ancestor around 20 million years ago. And they both diverged from all other crocodilians more than 40 million years ago, making the Gharial one unique crocodilian. Gharial are found on the Indian subcontinent, and the word Gharial is actually derived from the word Garia, which means mud pot and stay tuned to the end to find out why exactly someone would call this animal after a mud pot. Now this word was actually misread by Europeans who changed the word to gavial. Thus, this species is known as both gavial and garial. One thing that sets the garial apart from other crocodiles is the shape of its skull and their dentition both of which are super specialized for the capture of fish. As you can see, their snout is elongated and quite narrow, and it actually becomes proportionally shorter and thicker with age. And their teeth? Well, they are more numerous than any other crocodilian species. In total, there's about 110 of them. Why would a fierce crocodilian be known as a mud pot? Well, gharials are the only living crocodilian with visible sexual dimorphism. These guys are males, and this bulbous nasal protuberance happens at sexual maturity. And apparently, it looks like the local earthenware pot known as garia. Now, the function of this nasal protuberance is unknown, but it possibly could be as a visual sexual indicator or as a sound resonator for bubbling and other mating behaviors. Female gharials lay 30 to 50 eggs. Now these eggs are actually the largest produced by any crocodilian species. But like other crocodilians, the sex of the baby is determined during incubation and they will hatch after about 60 to 80 days. Gharials are one of the largest crocodilian species, with males reaching up to 20 feet in length. However, that hasn't stopped them from falling under threat from habitat destruction and disturbance. Gharials are currently listed by the IUCN Red List as critically endangered. They came alarmingly close to extinction in the 1970s and the government of India acted by granting full protection to the species during this decade. Conservation groups also started breeding and reintroduction programs in both India and Nepal. However, it's still not quite enough. There's only thought to be 250 adult gharials in the wild today. So, as a result, the primary conservation focus has thus shifted to the preservation of habitat and the education of local people on why these animals are so incredible. A recent study found that pollution by industrial toxic waste, domestic sewage, and natural habitat modification because of monsoon flash floods were all major threats to gharial and their habitat. Thus, the need for education and outreach is vital to saving this species. For more information and including a link to this study, check out the description below. Thank you so much for joining me as we learned a bit about the Gharial. And if you haven't already, be sure to once again, hit that subscribe button, like and share and all that jazz. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.